In this lesson, we're going to look at simplifying algebraic expressions with adding, subtracting, and multiplying. The base knowledge you require is what's called like terms, terms that are alike that have the same power. When we don't see a power, it's to the power of 1. You can see all these terms have the same power, and our answer would be x plus 3x is 4x, and y plus 2y is 3y. Similarly, we have 3x squared minus 1x squared. That's the one that we don't see, like the power. So 3 minus 1 is 2 x squared and then we have minus 1y squared this one that we don't see minus 3 1 minus 3 minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4y squared write these two examples into your copy with the heading and we'll continue with some questions now write these four questions into your copy pause the video practice the questions and see that you get all four solutions correct we can call this removing brackets that's what we want to do we want to simplify the expression there's two sums 3 times x and 3 times plus 4, which gives 3x plus 12. Because these are not like terms, that is the correct solution. Similarly, 2 by 5x is 10x, and 2 by minus 6 is minus 12. Fully finished. If we do have like terms, which we will coming up, we have to bring them together. Now, be careful when you've got your minus signs, common errors with algebra, if you don't look at the signs correctly, minus 2 by minus x, 2 minuses give a plus, so that's 2x, or plus 2x, you don't have to write the plus in front. And then we have minus 2 by minus 1, which is plus 2. Again, no like terms. We're finished. This one, 4 by a squared, 4a squared, 4 by b squared, 4b squared, and 4 by c is 4c. No like terms. We're done. Hopefully you got all four of these correct. Now write questions five, six, and seven into your copies. Pause the video, practice the questions. Let's look at the solutions. Four by x plus one is four x plus four. Three by x plus two is three x plus six. Because we have an algebraic expression here, we wanna have a sign in front of that, unless it's at the beginning of the expression. So we can see it's gonna be a plus by a plus, which would be a plus. Like terms, 4x plus 3x is 7x, and 4 plus 6 is plus 10. Now like terms, we're finished. This one, 5 by y, 5 by minus 2z, and 5 by 3 gives 5y minus 10z plus 15. And in this one, this comes up a lot in maths, where we have a minus sign in front of a bracket with no number. So what number do we see? It's like previously with the power that we don't see is 1, the number in front of x that we don't see is 1, the number in front of y here that we don't see is 1. This is a 1 here, we don't see it. So similarly, this means minus 1 multiplied by the bracket. Or you might hear your teacher saying a minus sign outside a bracket changes all the signs inside the bracket because a minus by whatever you're doing. So minus by 1x squared is minus x squared it was plus it's changed to a minus minus 1 by minus 2x changes this minus sign to a plus so we're going to get plus 2x and minus 1 by plus 1 is minus 1 again not like terms so you're finished so be aware very very important in algebra this minus sign outside the bracket write questions 8 9 10 into your copies practice them check the solutions so here we go x by x is x squared 
draw the lines if it helps x by plus 3 is 3x 2 by x is 2x and 2 by plus 3 is plus 6. we can see like terms in the middle here we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 and this is our answer draw the lines if you want to see the direction that you're going and the sums that you're creating x by 3x 3x squared x by minus 2 is minus 2x 6 by 3x is plus 18x and 6 by minus 2 is minus 12. we can see these two like terms in the middle 3x squared not cubed plus 18 minus 2 is plus 16x minus 12 and we are finished this one we have a square now just be careful to read the sum carefully we have a squared in this one so 3x squared by x is 3x cubed because the rule for indices we add those powers 2 and 1 is 3. 3x squared by plus 3 is 9x squared minus 2x by x is minus 2x squared and minus 2x by plus 3 is minus 6x we've got two squares here in the middle let's bring them together we have a cube at the beginning 9 minus 2 is 7 so plus 7x squared minus 6 x no more like terms we're done now test yourself for the progress that you've made there are eight questions write them into your copies press pause and then check the solutions so here we go x by 3x is 3x squared and x by minus 6 is minus 6x 3x by x and 3x by plus 2 3x squared plus 6x x again no like terms in either of these we're fully done this one three by two x three by one six x minus three plus two by x and plus two by plus three is plus two x plus six we have a pair of like terms six x plus two x is eight x and six minus three i'd always start with the plus number is plus three no more like terms we're done x by x x by minus 5 minus 6 by x and minus 6 by minus 5 so we have x by x is x squared x by minus 5 is minus 5x minus 6 by x is minus 6x and minus 6 by minus 5 be careful two minus signs give a plus x squared minus 11x plus 30. x by 2x x by 3 7 by 2x 7 by 3 2x squared x by 3 is 3x minus 7 by 2x is minus 14x and minus 7 by plus 3 is minus 21. so we have 2x squared minus 14 plus 3 is minus 11x minus 21. careful in this one we have different powers we've squared by a squared as i said earlier we add the powers so x squared by x squared is 2 plus 2 x to the power of 4 minus x squared by 1 is minus x squared plus x plus x squared by plus 1 is plus x squared and we have minus 1 as i said to you previously if we see something that we can cancel cancel them out and we're just left with x to the power of 4 minus 1. now we've two things by three things so we've six sums here we've 1 by 3x squared 1 by 2x 1 by 1 2x minus 2x by 3x squared minus 2x by minus 2x and minus 2x by 1. so 1 by 3x squared 3x squared and you should know at this point if you're multiplying 1 by anything it's not going to change the value so the first three sums are going to be these three answers 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. minus 2x by 3x squared is minus 6x what's the power 1 and 2 is 3 minus 2x by minus 2x a minus by a minus gives a plus 4x squared and minus 2x by 1 is minus 2x start with the highest power minus 6x cubed at the beginning we have a 3x squared and a 4x squared just double check with none others so that's 7x squared put the plus sign in front of it helps you now we're left with I'll give a squiggly line to the x's minus 2x minus 2x is minus 4x and you can see the poor little one on his own is all that's left and that's our answer oh hang on what did we leave out we left out the squared easy to make mistakes don't be worried about making mistakes maths is about making mistakes and learning from them just try not to make the same mistake over and over
Now we've six sums again, we've three x by x squared. Put the power in just to remind yourself, you're gonna add those powers. Three x by x squared is three x cubed. Three x by two x is plus six x squared. And three x by three is nine x. Now we have a minus one. Again, we have a one by something. So it's not gonna change these values. All it will do is with the minus sign, it's gonna change the signs of these. And we can see that they're all pluses. So we know the next three answers are gonna be minus x squared, minus 2x minus 3. It's just a nice little shortcut so you don't have to think about the sum and you can write the answer. Okay, so like terms, 3x cubed, we have a 6x squared, we have a minus x squared, 6 minus 1 is plus 5x squared. What have we got for 9x minus 2x is plus 7x and the little 3 on its own is all that's at the end. So that's the answer. Hopefully you got all eight of these correct. If you didn't, Go back, write the sums out again, practice them again. The only way to get good at maths, practice makes perfect.